Hyundai has a three year plan to turn the company around. We're talking a company who has underperformed, massively underperformed when it comes to actual EV sales. They want to turn the company around and become a legitimate Tesla rival by investing an absolutely insane amount of money over the next 36 months and hiring a staggering 80,000 people. Last year, Hyundai and Kia said, yeah, EVs, they're good, but uh, well, they'll represent around 20% of our sales in 2030. Well, Hyundai and Kia have completely changed their tune recently. They're now saying that they're about to invest $51 billion over the next three years and hire 80,000. That's not a misprint, 80,000 new employees to build electric cars, batteries, and well, create uh, disruption. They're gonna disrupt their Japanese competition. And I think that um, Hyundai might be onto something. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. So Hyundai Motor Group are gonna invest $51 billion over three years to bolster their growth in EVs to, to make millions of electric cars. And they want to hire 80,000 new employees. More than half of the investment will be allocated for new R&D infrastructure and assembly lines for electric cars. Another 31.1 trillion won will be slated for R&D in electric cars, including software-defined vehicles and battery technology. The majority of the new jobs created will be to promote future business with 44,000 new staff working specifically in electrification, SDVs and carbon neutrality. A lot of the other staff will be working in software, um, in battery technology, that kind of thing. Hyundai Motor Group includes Hyundai and its affiliate Kia. So I believe this investment for is for Hyundai and Kia, but either way guys, this is a huge investment $51 billion over the next three years, 80,000 new employees. Uh, basically, the company is saying, we're gonna ramp up EV, EV production as fast as we can. And well, hey, they make some pretty damn good electric cars. Unfortunately, the Hyundai sales this year have been abysmal. I mean, their electric car sales have gone down versus last year, which is quite a surprise to a lot of people considering how good they are. The Ionic 5, the Ionic 6, fantastic cars, right? But um, yeah, sales have actually fallen by around 30% compared to last year. I mean, a lot of people are just saying, what is going on with these guys? Production of their cars, it just isn't, it's not really going at the kind of speed you would expect. I mean, these are cars that, they're the only cars that are affordable that have 350 kilowatt fast charging. Not to say in the real world, they're gonna charge at that speed, but still the point is really, really good value for money. And right now, the Hyundai Ionic 6 is the cheapest EV you can lease in America. In fact, it's not the cheapest EV, it's the cheapest car, period, you can lease. It's $250 a month, and there's no down payment. It's amazing, what an incredible deal. Uh, the thing is, though, $3 billion, what are they gonna do with it? Well, they're gonna, they're gonna actually manufacture lithium ion phosphate batteries to make much more affordable EVs. So the cheapest Hyundai cars won't be, you know, these, crappy little gasoline powered cars like the, you know, the i20 or the i30. They're gonna have proper, you know, small, affordable electric vehicles with lithium ion phosphate batteries, mass produced using, you know, software, having really good advanced software. Plus Hyundai, they're actually working on their, uh, I wouldn't call it full self-driving, but a version of automated driving, which will give their vehicles the ability um, to possibly, you know, drive on, major highways and that kind of thing by themselves. The Hyundai software is, is already pretty good, but I think they're gonna invest a lot of this money into improving their software significantly. So we're gonna look forward to some pretty damn good cars coming from Kia and Hyundai. Right now, I mean, Kia have got the, the new EV9, that's a great car as well. I've, I've got a bit of confidence now in this company. I, I had said if they followed through with their plans from last year, they would go bankrupt because they were just mental. Their plans were absolutely insane. I mean, they were seriously saying that around only 20% of the cars that they sold, in fact, a bit less, I think it was about 15 to 20% would be electric cars in 2030. I mean, come on, that is insane. But now they've clearly completely changed their minds. You don't spend $51 billion over three years uh, for only a small fraction of your cars to be electric. Clearly, 
They're doing what Volvo is doing and trying to get rid of internal combustion much quicker than what they previously thought they would. Thank you for watching.